Welcome to e-commerce news network, ECN. Did you hear the one about the woman driver who, no, I'm not going to tell a joke, <laughs> seriously, but proving the joke is still alive and well. Manufacturer Fiat was recently forced to withdraw a manual in Argentina because it stated, among other things, female passengers should only be allowed to grace the front seat if they have nice legs. All the women are going crazy out there. Only if they have nice legs. Uh, obviously, they had to withdraw. Um, they had to withdraw that uh, that manual very, very quickly. Women were up in arms about it. You know, in, in the UK government, statistics showing women have a much higher chance of being failed in their driving tests, and yet men are far more likely to have car accidents. This is really unfair. Let's go to Bangladesh. It's a little country just east of India, probably known best as the home of the Royal Bengal Tiger. Bangladesh Post Office has recently launched a post e-commerce service and they've decided that women will drive 20% of the vehicles as they are careful drivers. I think they should be driving more than 20% if they're careful drivers. At an International Women's Day program in Dhaka on Saturday, the State Minister for Post and Telecommunications, Tarana Halim, said the women wearing the uniform would soon be seen driving the post office vehicles. She said, I think women are careful as drivers and cause fewer accidents. Well, obviously they do. Anyway, women are going to be appointed as drivers for 20% of the vehicles we are procuring for our e-commerce service. Nice little story about women drivers. Canada, we're all over the world on this program. Mobile purchasing drives growth in Canada. Spurred by competition from Amazon, retailers there are investing in digital and it has become a way to battle the challenges of reaching a small population dispersed over a vast landmass. If you have forgotten how big Canada is, you should get a map and check it out. It's the second largest country in the world with only, what's the biggest, Russia? Is it the Union the USSR? Anyway, Canada is the second largest country in the world, but it only has 35 million people. What's that? It's about a tenth of what we have here in the United States. So it is a challenge. And it's a problem because delivery expenses are huge in Canada. 85% of distribution costs are in the last mile of delivery. That's interesting. It just goes to show how hard it is to get to remote areas, I suppose. What do you think? Um, According to marketers' latest forecast, e-commerce by 2020 in Canada will account for 10% of total retail sales. That's pretty huge. Uh, they all, This is a key strategy. This is happening all over the world. A key strategy in growth is one like they've got the Click and Collect program. Companies like Toronto-based Grocer Loblaw let shop, shoppers order online and pick groceries up later. Exactly the same as uh, Walmart is doing here in the United States. And also consumers in Canada do so much shopping with mobile that a quarter of all retail e-commerce is expected to occur via mobile devices this year. That's huge. It's millennials. They're born with a phone in their hands. They can't take it away from them. And so uh, that's pretty amazing that a quarter of all, of all retail e-commerce is expected to occur via mobile device this year. Interesting. We're going to be traveling all around the world, amongst other things, uh, in this uh, e-commerce news network. And if you want to know more about e-commerce, how you can get started or how you can uh, profit from it, just go to ecommercenews.us and we have lots of interesting information there. ecommercenews.us. Thank you. We'll see you next time.